Hey guys, what's up? Tomcat here, and we're back in Off-Road Outlaws, and the trailer update has me very, very curious, because now we can actually use one, and we can buy one, and I've, I haven't messed with it at all yet, and I wonder, are there any trucks in my garage? Because I, I feel like I want, oh god, I want something to tow the, tra oh jeez, I want something to tow my trailer that that square body will actually work really well. Should work really, really well anyway. So let's go buy ourselves a trailer. Uh, 200 gold or 15,000. Eh. Might as well do the 15,000. I'd rather spend like the in-game cash than the gold. Okay. So they have said do not buy multiple trailers. Like they're, they're like freaking out. Like on, on the Offer Atlas Facebook page, they were like do not buy any more trailer. Like do not buy any more than one trailer. I don't know why, but do you really want to equip this trailer? Yes. I don't I don't know what I equipped it to. Oh dear. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. How do I Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what I How do I do this? Because no vehicle no vehicle, no vehicle. Okay, got it. But, equip it. Yes. So now, what is it equipped to? I guess, is it just equipped... Oh! Oh! Okay. So if we take this guy over here, load on the trailer... Now, he should be... Okay, okay, so now that is very, very interesting. Okay, so now this is the process of figuring out how this is going to work. So, but it says equip. So, I guess, will that just bring it with us when we go into the game? Let Like, let's say if we just go to Rock Park. Well, eh, desert. Let's go to the desert, because desert is easy, desert is simple. It's a lot of big open areas. Oh my god, wow, that is loud, and I hope the volume isn't that high, uh, like, for you guys, because that is so loud, but free camera, there it is, there it is, and it, it looks really, really good, like, it's cool, I dig it, I love the way it looks, and, oh my god, we're actually properly towing something, in Off-Road Outlaws, it's so cool! I feel like, oh, yep, yep, I knew that was going to happen. Now, when you reset it, okay, so that's the other thing I wanted to know, is, like, when you reset it, does it reset, like, everything as a whole? Oh, God, oh, God, are you going to tip over or no? We need that. We need all the diff locks, all of them, every last one. Oh, I wonder if we can take it through the mud like this. And over it goes. Wow, that is that is really top heavy. Although it's hilariously cartoonish in the way that it'll like basically fall back down. That that I find funny. Like I find it funny how how easy it is for it to kind of fall back onto uh, like into place. That, my friends, is mudding with a trailer. That is great. It doesn't really want to go very fast, but I can't really blame it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't really blame it. It's doing the best that it can. It really is. It's doing the best that it can. And I applaud it for that. I genuinely applaud it for that. Oh, there it goes. You really cannot go very fast. I mean, it will, it will genuinely just tear you to shreds if you go any sort of considerable speed. First person cinematic camera. Oh god, the cinematic camera is kind of it's not I wouldn't say it's disorienting, but I would say it's a little weird at the Oh, that's going to be bad. It <laughs> it just does not want to come back down onto its wheels. Good god. It <laughs> This is horrible. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea, and that idea is, will one of my huge trucks 
work in the same way. Okay, so let's see. Unload that from the trailer, and then unequip, and then once that is... Uh-oh, okay, never mind. That's weird. All right, so let's go into the garage now and grab a grab something that yes 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 the crazy duramax mud truck all right so oh god oh what happens if we load that onto the trailer oh it'll let us they oh my god i can't see anything i can't see anything at all <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Oh, my God. That's so bad. Okay. Into the garage we go. Because I'm going to haul it with this. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is, uh, is going to... Well, it's going to be a test. It's going to be a test indeed. Oh, God. The stunt park. Yes. Oh, my God. The trailer is angled heavily, but it's also very overloaded. Very, very, very overloaded. All right, uh, let's lock front and rear. Maybe not center. Ah, screw it. We're locking front and rear. Ah, together and center diff. It basically pulls a wheelie. Okay. It basically pulls a wheelie. Now, will it go up anything? It can't steer, I'll tell you that much. It cannot steer at all. Oh no! I mean, it stopped. That's so bad, like, it'll stop up there, but it'll wait. Oh no, actually, it's gonna spear the trailer into the ground. It is gonna spear the trailer into the ground. And that, that is where this goes into a whole new realm of what are you even doing? What are you even trying to do? But with that being said, I, I am actually, I, I'm blown away by how, how, like, how much work they put into getting the load to stay on the trailer. You know what I mean? Like, they do not want that truck to fly off and they make it very, very, very clear. I suppose that's probably because it's its own, like, independent, like, object, and they don't want there to be an idle truck, like, somewhere on the map. Oh, I'm so tempted to try to go up one of these walls. I mean, what the hell? Like, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is going to be so bad. Oh. oh, my God. It barely even goes anywhere and then falls on its top. It literally barely even goes anywhere. Uh-oh. I was like, that's kind of a little bit dangerous having it spawn up there. My question is... Oh, we could... Dude, we could detach it, and then we could swap vehicles. Oh, that's so good. That's so awesome. Dude, I love that. I freaking love that. I'm in love with this update. They've done so many cool things, but that is the top thing like that makes this for me boom actually you know what's funny is i've always had trouble landing that and then on my first like random first try it was like boom done no big deal so now i have something else i want to try because i want to actually make like a real mission out of this you know what i mean so the uh-oh <laughs> uh-oh um oh this will be perfect so we'll take the square body, and then we'll take it in a single player. We'll take it to the desert. Well, or should we take it to... We'll take it to Woodlands. We'll take it to Woodlands, and the whole idea of this is going to be hauling a trail rig to a trail, and then unloading it, and actually, and actually wheeling it. So, now that, that is a setup. That is a setup I could, like, I could genuinely, like, get behind. Like, that is a genuinely cool setup. Now, I could imagine, I could genuinely imagine that that is going to be a very top-heavy trailer. So, I'm going to be very careful. Very, very, very careful. 
Also, do I know where we're going? Absolutely not. I have no clue. Cinematic camera, maybe? Normally, I don't use cinematic camera at Off-Road Outlaws, but the thing about cinematic camera is the fact that with a trailer, you can see so much more once you start using the cinematic camera, and I can't see anything right now. But, oh, that's bad. Can it make it over the... You know what's nice, though? That trailer is not impeded by rocks, like, very much, if any, at all. Like, it, like, it just doesn't... Oh, well, it cares about that. <laughs> it cares if you do that to it. Uh, but, if it but, but rocks? Doesn't care. No big deal. Oh, God. If you could, like, yeah. If you could be just a little bit less, like, skittish or all over the place... It's so top-heavy. Like, it's so easy to roll it over. Like, we're rolling it over at 12 miles an hour. Good God. I think the most realistic map that we could take this to is probably Rock Park. And the reason why I say Rock Park is because Rock Park kind of has the obstacles, and then it has the flat areas that kind of surround everything around the obstacles. So you're not having to, like, always deal with, uh, like, always deal with going through uneven terrain and going through areas that are just, like, not optimal for the truck. You know what I'm saying? So this might be a better follow camera. Oh, man. That's not what I wanted. Okay, see, we're already rolling over. You can come back now. I'm like, for real, dude, you can come back now. It's not a big deal. Oh my god, follow the thing. Follow the thing. Follow the thing! I just wish the cinematic camera didn't stay as far away. It's so far away. It's so, so, so far away. Ooh. I have a specific place in mind that I want to go. But it's kind of hard to, to, like, to take it there when all it wants to do is flip over. I mean... Yes, I understand that a trailer like that would be top-heavy, but I feel like it's a little... It's a little crazy. Like, I feel like they've gone a little overboard on the level of top-heaviness here. I think the obstacle I want to try is back down here in the middle of the map. I think it is. Not entirely 100% sure on that, but I think it is. This will work. So work to try anyway. All right, swap vehicles. Here we go. If this can't make it up this thing, I don't know what can. Cause this is about as built as they come. Oh God, the the wheelbase. It's struggling hard with the. Ugh. Ugh. It's struggling really hard with its wheelbase. We might want to do this in high, actually, just because it's... It, like, it's almost like it maxes itself out when it's in low. Oh, God. Oh, God. It does it even worse like, like that. It doesn't even worse in high. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. I mean, this obstacle is, of course, like nothing to this truck. It's absolutely nothing at all, but still. It's almost to the point where, wait a minute. Oh, we got to go back and we got to go back and try to pull the trailer with this. Because, like, the actual truck that we'd be pulling is going to be a hell of a lot lighter and smaller. Or smaller and lighter, I feel like, is what you would be more inclined to say. But, let's back up. Oh, God. Swap vehicles. Can we not reattach? I was about to say, we must be able to reattach. I mean, it still kind of pulls the front wheels off the ground a little bit. You definitely want to make sure your tow rig is set up correctly, like, suspension height-wise, because... Uh-oh. 
I did not see that tr that tree coming. I was just not paying attention to what was in front of me, that's for sure. <laughs> Is it? Okay, is it as top-heavy? Nowhere near. Nowhere near as top-heavy. I mean, it's top-heavy, but, like, this? If the, if the rolls were reversed, we would have flipped the whole trailer. Oh, God! Oh! Jeez! <laughs> and, you know, I know they told us to only buy one trailer... But I'm very curious to know what happens if we if we were to buy more than one. Like, if we were to buy more than one trailer, I mean, yeah, stuff would probably glitch out and go nuts. But I almost want it to at this point. Like, I almost want it to glitch out and go nuts. But, I mean, I think in general, like, the trailers are a really good addition to the game. I really enjoy using them. I'm just curious as to see where they go from here. So if you guys enjoyed this video in Off-Road Outlaws, make sure to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe for more. We'll see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.